The main thing is with a hyperbola is that it's either going to be opening up and down like in the y direction or it's going to be opening left and right in the x direction and if any of this seems confusing as i'm going through it i'll have an, a link to another video i did talking about hyperbolas that goes into more depth but this is a particularly challenging problem when they just give you the asymptotes and vertices so i want to show you how to work with this one but the basic equation you can see is y minus k squared minus x minus h squared equals one and you've got your a squared and your b squared but the important differences here are that notice that here you've got the y squared as the positive term when the hyperbola is opening in the vertical direction the y direction up and down and here you've got the x squared as the positive term when it's opening in the horizontal direction in the x direction left and right and you notice that the a squared is with that first term or that positive term and then just again just to refresh the distance from the center to the vertex, this point where the hyperbola bends or turns, that distance is A. The distance from the center to the focus, that distance is called C. And the distance from the center to right here, this distance is called B. And the equation that relates all those values together is C squared equals A squared plus B squared, just like Pythagorean theorem. So the other thing to recognize is that when you have these asymptotes, you know, the slope of a line is the rise over the run, okay? So you can see, you can figure out, well, if I go this much for the rise, this much for the run, in this case, it's gonna be B over A, okay? But if it was open the other direction, like so, you would actually be doing A over B. So an easy way to remember this is that, you know, when you think of the slope, slope is what? It's the rise over the run, which is really like the change in Y over the change in X, right? And when you think about the change in y, this number here that's underneath the y is going to be your rise, okay? And the number underneath the x here is going to be your run. So for this one, it's going to be a over b. For this one, the slope is actually going to be b over a, okay? So it's easy to remember. The number underneath the y is the rise. The number underneath the x is the run when you're calculating the slope for your asymptotes. But let's get into this example here. So what I always like to do is I like to draw a sketch just to see what I'm dealing with to help me to formulate my equation. And you can see that the vertices here that they give us are at 2, negative 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, so 2, negative 4 right about there, and 2, 12. Okay, so let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, way up here, right? Okay, so that's our other vertex. And then the asymptotes are at y equals 2x and y equals negative 2x plus 8. Okay. First thing I wanna do though, is I wanna find the center point. And the center point is gonna be halfway in between those vertices. So we can either count and find the midpoint, or you can take uh, negative four plus 12, okay? Add those together and divide by two. So that's gonna come out to four. So we're really over here at two comma four, which is gonna be right there. Okay, there's our center, two, four. Okay, then from the asymptote perspective, we've got y equals two x, so that means it's uh, going up two over one like this, okay? And so you can see it's looking something like, like this. And then for the uh, next one, y equals negative two x plus eight. So two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this one has a slope of negative two, okay, uh, like so. Okay, approximately, right? And then we know that the hyperbola gets closer and closer to those asymptotes. So I'm just drawing a quick sketch here for us so we can see you know that it's opening up and down. So we know it's opening up and down, so that means that we're gonna be looking at uh, hyperbola in this form. It's gonna be y minus the y coordinate of the center squared minus x minus the x coordinate of the center squared equals one. And now what we have to do is find these denominators. We need to find our a squared and our b squared. Well, remember the distance from the center to the vertex, this distance right here is a. And we can see that that is how much? Well, let's see, that's gonna be uh, eight units, so you can see this is the difference between four and 12. So that's gonna be eight squared, which is 64. Okay, so that's our a squared, and we figured out that a is equal to eight. Now all we have to do is find our b squared. Okay, that's this value right here. And the equation that relates all those together is c squared equals a squared plus b squared. And we also know that the slope of this uh, uh, asymptote here is gonna be the uh, rise over the run, okay? So when we think about the rise over the run, we can think about, in this case, A divided by B is our slope. So let's write that down. So A divided by B is equal to our slope, and we know the slope is two, right? So that means we're going up two over one. So that means that, uh, let's see, what do we have here? We have A is equal to two B, right? And we know that A is eight, so eight equals two B divided by two and you can see that b is equal to four, but in our equation, we want b squared. So this is gonna be four squared, which is 16. 
And there we go, that's the equation of our hyperbola given the asymptotes and the vertices. But what I like to do is just sketch it out so I can kind of take a look at it as I'm working through it so I can find out you know, what I have, whether I have A, B, C, that kind of thing. And if you need to, again, I'll have a link to talking more about you know, what a hyperbola is and the different forms of the hyperbola and so forth. I'll put a link for that for you. But subscribe to the channel, check out more math tutoring videos on my YouTube channel, Mario's Math Tutoring, and I look forward to helping you in the future videos. I'll talk to you soon.